What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode 9 in the next part of our ARC documentary, The Experience, The Journey, and boy do I have a lot of explaining to do in this episode. There's a lot of things that I did not have recorded, and some of the footage that I did have got deleted unfortunately, but I have a lot to explain because coming up in the following clips you're going to see that a lot has changed. So going back to when we were doing the raid, and around that time, obviously I explained explained that Space had left the tribe and Bubba had decided to make C one of the leaders with us. Now C was making a lot of bad decisions for our base and people were getting very tired of it. She was dumping off so many tasks on everybody in the tribe whether it was to watch one of her tames. This is one of the most common things that she would do was that you know she would be either taming something or raising a baby and she would dump it off on us when we would be busy doing something something and uh, she would just say oh go watch this I have to go do something or I'm gonna get off for the night a thing that I would notice that she would do a lot is that she would hatch an egg and then watch it for maybe 10 minutes and you know in arc if you don't know about these things when you go to raise something especially on an official server it takes a lot of time you need to watch things you can't just hatch a baby anything and then just say all right I'm gonna get off now because it'll die it will starve to death you have to sit by that thing usually for a good 30 minutes to an hour for it to hit like juvenile uh, so that it could actually eat on its own out of the feeding trough. And especially with other things when it comes to like taming and whatnot, when you have like a dino tranked out somewhere and you're waiting for it to be tamed, you know, that takes a lot of time too. It could even take several hours to tame certain dinos. And yeah, what C would do to us is she would hatch an egg right before she's about to go to sleep, watch it for maybe 10 minutes and then say, all right, I'm going to get off now. And that's not something that you should do. If you're going to hatch something, you should do it maybe when you first get on and you know that you're gonna have plenty of time to actually watch that thing. She dumped things off on us all the time and it was really tiresome because most of us were trying to grind for the base and you know keep our turret towers full and do all this other stuff but what C's main focus was was pretty much turning the base into a PvE base. We weren't playing PvE we were playing PvP. The difference between PvP and PvE is well it's in the name. PvP is player versus player. You need to keep up with the base Base, make sure the turret towers are full and keep putting up new ones as well as just keeping stocked with you know anything that could defend the base but what C was focused on is that she was trying to turn it into seemingly a PvE base and that was a very bad idea first of all because that's not what you should be doing in PvP if you want to do PvE things go to PvE for example one of the biggest things that I had such a problem with was that she decided to go maybe like somewhere on YouTube or something and she looked up how to make this giant like elaborate looking turret tower but the thing is, it looked like a watchtower that you would see on a prison somewhere, and it was massive. It was absolutely massive, and it took up most of the building space. Like, we weren't even able to place any foundations or walls anywhere because there were so many walls and floors and just, you know, pieces put into that one tower that it blocked the structure limit in our entire base. And when I told her that it should probably go down because there's only like five or six turrets on it, and it doesn't need to be that massive, she tried starting a big argument with me saying that if I take that turret tower down that she's gonna end up quitting arc and not coming back now how does that make any sense anyway we recruited a new group of people you may remember them from the previous video I was in a party chat with them even though you couldn't hear them I mentioned one of them his name is Jark and there was another guy named NoobTube and someone else I'm sorry I'm forgetting his name but there was a few extra people and they were from the tribe called hotels combined that tribe ended up having a falling out and most of them ended ended up merging into the second biggest tribe called ALR, and then some of them also came over into our tribe. Now, I really liked them. They were really cool, and I'm still friends with some of them right now, and I have nothing against any of the other ones that I don't talk to. But regardless, they were really cool people, but some of us just didn't know if we could trust them at first, because that's really how things go in PvP. You just gotta see if you could trust certain people, and it usually takes some time. But honestly, they were really cool people, and I felt like I could definitely trust them. Bubba wasn't too sure, because he wasn't really in parties with them that much, and C had a really big issue with them, and they were always arguing. 
arguing. You know, the new recruits from Hotels Combined were always arguing with C, and they just didn't like each other. C wanted to get them kicked out of the tribe so much, and she always had an excuse to want to get them to leave. Actually, at one point, she came into a party with me and Bubba, and I swear to you, she was hysterically crying over them being in the tribe and getting into arguments with them. I am not lying. It is a 100% true thing, and <laughs> I just, it was unnecessary. But anyway, things escalated so much, and we ended up having to kick some of them out of the tribe. Some of them stayed for a little longer, but eventually they all ended up leaving the tribe. Now, let's take a pause on the dramatics about C really quickly and talk about a really good opportunity for us. So, we ended up getting in talks with the leaders from Absolved, and they saw that we were struggling to keep up with our base. I wonder why. I mean, C definitely wasn't the cause of that at all. <laughs> but anyway, they saw that we were one of the smaller tribes, but we were still a major tribe on the server, and we had been there since pretty much day one. And now, we had been told by all of the bigger tribes on the server that we were cool and nobody was going to mess with us. Pretty much every single tribe on the server, especially we had gotten word from ALR, said that they definitely had our back no matter what went down, and they were really cool with us, and they accepted us being on the server, and they genuinely liked us, and they were awesome people as well. But anyway, we got an offer from Absolved saying that, you know, they saw that we were kind of struggling, um, you know, with the people that had been cross raiding into our server, and we're not really able to get that much help, and they decided to give us the option to maybe merge into their tribe. Now, this was really great, because they are the alphas of the server, and that would be a great opportunity for us. Not only will we be getting extra protection from them, but it will open a lot more opportunities for us with connections and other things like that. We could get our base back up and running. And so it took us a little while. We sat on it for about a week or two to just decide and think about it. But ultimately, we all wanted to do it. Me and Bubba secretly had a conversation with each other and said like, you know, we would keep this base going with our old name that we had. We didn't want to really merge because we liked having, you know, the whole control of things. Uh, and, and, you know, it's, it's really good feeling like you're the leader of things. Um, but we just couldn't do it anymore. It was, we were playing Ark as if it was a job at this point. Like, it was getting stressful, and you should never do things like that. You should never play a game to the point where it feels like a job. And playing it with C, she drained us so much of Ark that it really felt like it was turning into a job. We had so many tasks dumped on us because of her, and I'm not trying to call her out on this, but that's just how it was for us. And it was becoming really stressful. Now, if you guys remember, like, when Space was around, it was all fun and games and we had a good time we laughed but we still got things done because that's how we were you know we worked that way but with C not only did we not get things done because she wanted to do PVE things but she just made us more stressed because she just she kept dumping things on us and we had to pick up double of the work because not only was it her and I didn't mention this earlier but she brought in like three or four extra people that she had known for a little while and they joined into the tribe and we thought that they would help us but they were still kind of screwing around with C. So like I said, when Space was there, we had a bunch of other people there to help out, including Space, that knew what they were doing, but Space left and some of the other people decided to leave as well, so now we were stuck with C and her people and we were not getting things done at all. Once again, making Ark feel like a job and made us even more stressed, making me and Bubba jump at the opportunity to be a part of Absolved. So this is it. We finally made it to becoming an alpha tribe. Now, obviously, our tribe itself didn't fully become alpha as us still being the leader, but we were still a part of this great alpha experience, and it is very hard to join into an alpha tribe. You gotta realize, we put in months and months of proving our tribe to the entire server that we could do this. But it doesn't stop there, because in the next episode, which this is not the end of the video yet, but in the next video, I will explain how we went from becoming the alpha tribe of the server to the alpha tribe of a bunch of other servers as well. Regardless though, coming up what you're going to see is that we are now in Absolved. We are a part of the alpha tribe of the server and the second most alpha tribe of the server, the second biggest tribe, uh, their name is ALR United. They are being attacked and there's only like one person from their tribe online right now and he begged for our help. He was like, we're getting hit and there's no one else on to help but myself. 
myself. And so now everyone over at Absolved, our new tribe, decided to go over there and help them out. We brought some gigas, we brought some flyers, and uh, my flyer actually, before this first clip that you're going to see coming up starts, it actually got killed by one of their gigas, and I was really annoyed at that. But regardless, um, you're going to see that coming up during this whole defense of ALR's base, you're going to see that mine and Bubba's energy is very drained, and it's because C really made it feel like a job for us. You got to understand, we were really stressed out and annoyed, and it really brought our energy down a lot. So if we seem kind of like we're annoyed, it's because of that. It's because we were really just not having a good time at this point. We were very happy that we were in Absolved, but when she was around, it really threw our mood off, and she had to be in the party chat with us at this point because we were defending, so we were kind of in a not-so-great mood. But regardless, enough talking from me. This is the defense of ALR's base. Where are they at? Green base or Red Ob? Red Ob. Bro, we've killed almost all of their flyers. They're standing uh, on the ground. Off. Right next to their okay, wyvern. Let's go. There's I like wanna, three of them standing on the ground right now, running. Right next to that wyvern on the ground. They're off the gigas and everything. On gigas. We're almost there. I'm on They're my right way. at Red Ob, you guys. Bro, this, this guy's gonna die. He's, uh, running, uh, no, no, he's dead pushing with the gigas. And get the, uh, turret I'll snipe him up. Bring that along the shore. Um, the on oh, attacking us. Go, oh, shit. go to their back base. Whistle Tilly's Good. being aggressive. Whistle it aggressive. Hang on, I sweetie. Oh, rip. <laughs> my, my giga raged. Diesel, watch out. Guys, guys, get to the gigas. There's two on the beach near They're red. Dead. They're dead. Whistle them. No, they yeah, they, they uh, just died. Yours died, see. They died instantly. Aww. Aww. Like Poor thing. <laughs> Let's see, do we want to do a rush those two gigas? Upload like six of them and then download them at red? No, I mean just whistle them in telling them to go forward. Right. I tried saving Wait a minute. diesel, I tried. All I need is a fucking gun. Killed one. Killed two. Good shit, dude. They're, they're, pulled, they're bringing a stego, I think. Bruh, yeah. they, they were lying down sniping and I heat shot both of them because they had no <laughs> helmets. Good shit, man. That was too easy. Alright, they're bringing the stego. Oh, no, none of these generators have gas. Yeah, no, I, I don't know where they went. I think they all just took off uh, back to the fob. Someone should run out and grab all their loot. I'm trying food, to do that so now. I just four people. Yeah, I need I've a gun. Four people around there. Diesel stuff is still on the ground. I didn't want to like take it and Ugh. get it confused with mine or anything, but it's still right here. Oh, another. Bro, these Not guys are so bad. Way. They're just walking and trying to get their bags, and I'm killing them. No yeah, I'll it's coming. Just charging in. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I sniped him up the giga! Nice, dude! This motherfucker is so accurate, holy shit! Oh, damn, boys! One shot with my long knee. No <laughs> scope. I think it's clear. I think everything is down. What kind of fault is this? Seriously? You guys gotta have to see this. Oh, they say... To be continued. So, that will mean... They promise to come back. We're just right now destroying the scraps and pieces. Yep. Gone. Now, Absolved are really good at ARC in general. They're great at PvP, they're great at, you know, boss battles. I've done, you know, pretty much everything under the sun with these guys, and I've spent a long time with them. They are really great people. I honestly love playing with them. I really wish I had more clips of us actually enjoying the game together. Unfortunately, I do not have too much. Maybe sometime in the future I can get more, um, but, you know, as of right now, I don't have too much of us genuinely just sitting down and enjoying the game together, because we've done that many times, and they are 
great people, like I said. Uh, but anyway, that was the whole defense. It was pretty short, and those people said that they were going to come back. I don't think they ever ended up doing that. But anyway, those people weren't any major tribe. They were just some small Spanish tribe that, well, they weren't too small, obviously. They had enough stuff to get a tech transmitter and a bunch of gigas and stuff, but they weren't too well known. I don't know if they've built up any more, and maybe they're more known now. Uh, but at the time, nobody really knew who they were, and they were just going across server to server trying to mess with other people's bases. But anyway, coming up, we just have a few laughs and jokes and stuff like that, so uh, stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you guys in just a little bit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Bye bye. They go white. Yeah, it's raining. You want to fill my motherfucking canteen? Yeah, the fucking game. Yeah, it's fucking raining, but I want to fill my canteen. Have my name, and it's Mr. Schnei Schneibel. Mr. Schneibel. Is that your name, Mr. Schneibel? My name is Mr. Schneibel. You got a fucking problem with it? It's just a very peculiar name is all. Nah. Yeah, what the fuck was that? Do you know his tribe of ass is still there? Oh, tribe of ass. <laughs> no, ass. Ass, tribe of ass. Oh, tribe of ass. <laughs> U.S.S. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Bubba was trying to get all fancy with it. Just in case, our base. Just in case, what? Just in case, our base. <laughs> I don't know, he was rhyming for a second. Just in case, our base, and that was so. <laughs> I don't know what that meant. <laughs> yeah, it was some fucking... I, I just didn't finish, alright? Just some... shut your mind. It's a fucking riddle. Shut I, your I mean, mouth. I just can't mess up once, a, once in a while. <laughs> the riddle master. Once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking <laughs> riddle master. Oh, Joe. Oh, Joe. <laughs> what are you fucking hacking a loogie? <laughs> Yeah, sorry. You're fucking hacking the <laughs> So yeah, just a little bit of extra fun at the end. Just us messing around at the base while we were grinding for some resources. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, it's I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of the shortest ones in the series. Um, but coming up is going to be another raid. Now this one actually takes place on our home server. And there is a lot of drama involved with it. And a lot of confusion. So I'll explain all of that coming up in the next video. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. And if you guys did enjoy, please share it around. It will really help get the ARC experience out there. And go check the playlist for all the other episodes if you haven't by any chance seen any of the other ones yet. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys did enjoy, leave a like. And please follow me on Twitter. I would really appreciate that. But that's going to be it once again. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.